Hello everybody, it's old Shazia's here. I'm um, doing this video to show you a nifty little circuit idea here. And I'm sure that somebody else out there has already done this before, but uh, just in case. This uh, circuit could be actually expanded on. There it is. Alright, let's try to hold this up here in the middle of the camera instead of over to the side. Ah, there we go. Okay, freeze. You see, I got uh, the little black coils, a uh, little antenna. I've got two germanium diodes and a coil of wire and a capacitor. And on the opposite side over here, just a transistor and an LED. Alright, so essentially what I'm working on with the uh, larger circuit that I'm going to be doing is going to be the equivalence of uh, 200 germanium diodes, 100 capacitors, and 100 blinking LEDs, and 100 resistors with 100 tuning, tunable coils. And the reason why I'm going to do that is I'm fixing to show you here what you can do with that. Alright, so I'm going to hook my positive up over here. I'm going to yank these doggone things loose. Hook my negative up over here. And you'll see that we have zero volts on the meter. Sure, you can see that doggone meter. Oh, I'm looking. Okay, it looks like you can see it. So, anyway, um, if this doesn't mess with my camera, you should be able to hear what I'm saying. If not, you'll hear. Roar, 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 roar. All right, now I don't know if you can see that LED yet. You'll notice, guess you can see it. All right, well, we've got 1.66 volts on the voltmeter. The LEDs lighting up. Now I'll take my uh, fluorescent tube here. Notice the LED going down. Do 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 do. Alrighty then. Essentially, what's going on there is that it's just a little mini circuit to uh, wirelessly charge things, and you can actually simulate the ground with just a chunk of metal. Doesn't matter really what kind of metal. Some should probably work better. Earlier, I used a uh, piece of ferrite to. Uh, simulate the ground otherwise if you disconnect this right here you'll notice that the light stays on but it gets substantially dimmer because there's no ground on it and if I touch it let me go over here and touch it do 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 okay go make a liar out of me there it goes see that how you can actually simulate a ground with just a little piece of uh, ferrite or a uh, uh, piece of metal, piece of aluminum, iron or anything. And so you don't, you don't have to have it grounded to the earth. Alright now, and you can see the voltage is up to 1.68 on the voltmeter. I hope you can see that real well. And you got the radio on. You can see it's blocking out that signal on that radio. And I can... Uh, maybe my battery went dead on that too. Let's try that again. What's that? Don't know if the mic's picking that up. 
you can hear the disruption if you watch the uh, voltmeter see the voltage changing anyway I think that Ryan said at one point he ran one of these Slayer exciters off of three volts of electricity and so if that be the case then uh, I believe that you can take this Slayer exciter send the energy wirelessly to that circuit right there and then run another Slayer exciter and have these two bouncing back and forth feeding each other and for you, those of you that don't, don't uh, know what the Slayer Exciter circuit looks, pause your video and take a look at this real good. Ryan's got it set up real good. There's your uh, your primary coil right there, and your secondary, which is your antenna, and positive and negative. Real simple circuit. If you need any help with that, let me know. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you. This. Uh, this little circuit right here is what uh, is a small sample of what it is that I'm actually working on. I've got 200 of these germanium diodes and I'm going to track down the tuning coils that I want so that I can tune each and every coil to a separate frequency. These germanium diodes are really good for picking up uh, energy out of the air from uh, waste energy. So that's what I'm working on but you can see it's still up there to 1.67 volts it's charging that little capacitor right there which is lighting up that LED and actu actually took no measurements on uh, on any uh, resistor or any of that right there didn't check the, what size the capacitor was and so I'm positive that this could actually be refined tuned a whole lot better and uh, I'll have to draw up a diagram and get that to you if you want a uh, copy of this circuit right there. So with that said, I'll go ahead and stop this. Okay, going to try one more thing here real quick. Yeah, you see that it's not, uh, it's not plugged in. But you can see it picking up real good if I hold that ground but it's a pretty nifty little circuit and I'll uh, get the camera really close to it so you can see exactly how it's put together but uh, I'm the ground right now notice the closer you get to it obviously it's going to get brighter but uh, I had pretty good distance from it earlier and I believe that with uh, the proper tuning coils on there that you could fine tune this to be a lot more sensitive and I've just got some uh, I don't even know what gauge wire it is but it's pretty thick wire so it's probably not helping the situation any or maybe it's helping it, maybe it needs thicker wire, I don't know, just have to trial and error kind of thing. But you can see, obviously, the closer you get to it, and it's charging that capacitor up as long as it's running. Err! See where the best ground to it is. Right off the edge of that, um, if I can stretch this out of here. Yeah, I'm hoping you're seeing that. Alrighty then. With that said, I'll uh, pause this for a second and then uh, show you a close-up of the circuit. Alrighty then. From this angle it's kind of blurry I guess. But you can see the uh, the geranium diodes and you can see the direction of them, uh, the black going that way. And that would be on the 
Pot, no, that's on the negative side, the side with the stripe. Oh, it'd be easier if I just drew out a doggone diagram, I know. But, uh, let me see if I can change the lighting a bit. I'll turn that overhead light off, maybe that'll help. Oh, that looks a little better on the camera. Alright, so you got the uh, side of the capacitor with the stripe, which I believe to be the negative side, if I'm not cor incorrect, whatever. It goes into the coil, goes over on the opposite side with the uh, L. Oh, doggone it. The doggone um, germanium diode on the opposite side going into the other end of the capacitor. And then the. See this. Arr! Transistor just to keep the uh, LED from burning out. Or, yeah, the resistor. Sorry about that. The resistor keep the LED from burning out. Let me see what side's the flat side. I can't even see this doggone thing. All right. The flat side of the LED is on this side over here. It's facing the resistor, which uh, goes to the other leg of the uh, capacitor. Real simple. So essentially that uh, LED is just making a loop from one leg of the capacitor to the next. Now, if you put a blinking LED in there, it will not only blink on and off, but you can have another coil, Arr! you can have another coil in between there, and it will pulse that coil. And if that coil is in the general proximity of another setup such as this, you should be able to pick some energy off of that as well. Anyway, that's just a quick look at the circuit. It's real simple. I'll try to draw a di diagram out and uh, give it to whoever wants it, but I'm sure you can figure that out from, from this video. It's real simple. Nothing to it. You got... Uh, a coil wire running through two germanium diodes, one of them going in the opposite direction. And uh, then you have the LED with a resistor making a loop from one leg of the uh, uh, capacitor to the next. And then this little black coil right here. Ah! Right. Boink! There. <laughs> That's just your antenna. You can simulate a ground on this, like I said, with anything such as just a little ferrite core or a piece of metal, chunk of aluminum or anything. So, with that said, you don't have to have it grounded to the earth. Uh, works out pretty good. So, you could uh, probably do a lot of nifty little things with this. Uh, I know, uh, pretty sure it was Lid Motor that was doing a bunch of cool stuff with, uh, with this uh, wireless energy. Either way, I wanted to share that with you. I hope you, hope you like the video. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned.